Hey, what's going on? Matthew Taman here with another Joomla video tutorial. In this lesson, I want to demo and I want to show you and give my thoughts and feedback about your theme uh, page builder. Now, as a business owner, when you have to build websites, you have to create different applications, you're going to be faced with so many different options for you to use. Sometimes you have literally hundreds or even thousands of different things being thrown at you, but how do you determine which one work best for you? So the goal of this particular uh, tutorial is that I want to show you the options that you have. And I've created a lot of different options in terms of other page builders to use, and this is just one of them. I think that it's important that once you understand how things work, how to use it, you can see if that works for you. You may like one and may not like another one. One. So in this lesson, we're going to take a look at the Utheme uh, Pro uh, page builder here rather. So let's start here. It's a drag and drop like any other page builder that allows you to drag things all over and move things and put them anywhere that you want them to be. But every page builder have something that's unique and special. So before we even get into demo on this, let's click on try now, for example, uh, we're going to come to this in just a moment before we even get to go and say, OK, let's demo this thing out. Let's try it out. I want to show you some of the unique things about your theme. One of the things that makes it unique is that it has what's called widget kit that is also integrated with the page builders. Now, widget kit is an extension that gives you different plugins that you can be able to use to, you know, add more features, add more style uh, to how you want your website to look and act. So we're going to just demo a few of the extra um, widgets here that you have. So you have what's called the gallery, slideshow, slow panel, the grid stack. You have all of these here, and these are great ways for you to add additional functionality to your website. So this is integrated with the page builder, which gives it a lot more flexibility and it gives you a lot more option. So let's click on example for uh, the gallery. So you have... Uh, let's say you're, you're a photographer, right? Or you want to showcase your portfolio and you need something that shows your work in a very clean, simple, and professional manner. Something that's not too you know cumbersome or have a lot going on. Well, the gallery is a great widget for you to use. You can put that in, plug it in, and you can get beautiful slideshows or galleries like this when you click detail and it's going to pop up. This is very nice. This is very neat. I tell people that when you're building a website, you don't want to make your website have so much stuff that it takes forever to load. And the images here will be optimized, meaning that they won't take for forever to load. It won't take a long time for it to load. And then you scroll through. It's just showing you the different uh, styles that you can be able to use. So you have the parallax grid. You have the gutter. You have the overlay. This is nice. Again, when you're building your website, you want to come out as a professional uh, site. You want people to be able to like, wow, you know, this looks great. This looks clean because that is going to attract people or it's going to make people not want to come back to your site. So the, the gallery head gives you a lot of options. You can use any one of these on your site. Now, when you go to the top, you have the slideshow. The slideshow, again, if you want to build a slideshow on your website, there's another one. You can add some simple images and you don't have to be a professional designer or coder to do this. This is tools at your disposal. So it shows you again the different options that you have. You scroll through it and you can even incorporate video type if you if you need be to see. This is really nice. So just think about all the ways that you can integrate this in your website. And then you go over to the slideshow panel and this another one. It shows you how you can integrate and you go over the grid and I just want to show you this because this is going to save you so much time when it comes to building your website. I have used the widget kit. I use it and I absolutely love it because I can be able to do things that usually would take a long time to do. I just plug in the image, the text and everything and I'm set to go. Look at this nice and clean. And then next one that we have, this is the grid stack. So what I need you to do is, as you are building your site, you want to understand the tools that you have that comes with whatever extensions that you're using. You can link this to external pages or to the existing website. And then you have the grid slider. And this one too looks nice. And then let's check another one out, the switcher. Again, you can create amazing things with this. Amazing. You're saying, Matthew, I'm not a coder. You don't have to be. You see this here? You can use your imagination 
whether you want to use this for a staff or maybe you have some products like with the thumbnail navigation here maybe you have some products that you want to feature well you can put your products here create a one page uh, site where people click on it and you can even change this you can add the links here. you can add buttons here so people click on it and it takes them directly to where you want them to go so that's the options there now let's go with a switch your panel and then you have the slide set show you the different options for that slide set and the parallax and then you have uh, the accordion the pop over so use your creativity to build something okay use whatever creativity you have in terms of how you want things to be so I'm gonna X off of this now and we're gonna take a look at the page builder here as I mentioned before they've already integrated what you've seen onto the page builder so on the left column here uh, even though this is a WordPress version with the Joomla type it works a similar way too so you have your menus you can be able to choose a nav bar I'm not gonna go through into a lot of the WordPress stuff but this is where you can select what menus that you want to show on different parts of your website and then you have your widgets this are all the different widgets option that you have you can add widgets to different parts you know um, of the site you can add a breadcrumb a builder a gallery any one of these widgets you can add it and then you can choose the content of that page see right now we just added that widget you have the widgets to the top left so wherever you want to add a widget on the page you can do that any section you go to the logo you can add another logo there this is such a simple process that all you have to do is just drag and drop you just click to add if you want to add audio you want to add archive you want to add RSS feed you want to add a video you can do that so now let's go back over here and we're going to the layout the layout part of it this is where the fun comes in because with the layout you are able to create custom layouts you're able to do something amazing so you have the site okay so this is the right now this is the logo you can change this to something else you have the width you have the mobile you have the full width option so this control the site and then you have the header so if you want to change anything in the particular header you can do the same thing here it gives you the option for the header I tell people this when you are demoing the product you just need to click anything just click all over so you get a feel for what it looks like you're not going to damage or destroy anything and as you're making changes you're gonna see what it looks like how does that look do I like how this if I don't like this maybe I can change that you know so that's the part of you demoing the product See, so look at this nice and clean now let's go back over here and you have the sidebar you have the blog you have the footer and then you have the builder you can choose a new layout type and you can literally build incredible layouts you have countdown divider header you click on each one and it's going to allow you to do different things and add different things on the page so now you have this headline you can be able to edit it you click there you put your headline title and as you do that it's going to change automatically you know instantly so you can be able to see now you've just created a new section here with this headline okay so let's go back now let's see you want to add something else you click to add again uh, you wanted to add a countdown you can do that with the countdown you double click so now you've added the countdown you can customize the time the dates everything with the countdown I'm just doing this a crash course so you see the flexibility and options that you have in order to build something amazing so let's click to add something else you have multiple items here pagination you have a widget if you want to add a widget and then you can choose the type of widget um, that you want to add and then let's go back over here let's add something else we can add the grid and then you can choose the title so that's just going to show you how you can be able to add different things uh, on the site so do you want to save that layout you can keep it as that okay and then this is where you can get to manage the templates um, as well on the site you can put new templates um, then you have the settings you have the favorite con the cookies the API key and all those things uh, so let's go back here now is this an investment that I think is good or is this a good investment absolutely I think that it's a really great investment if you are looking to have control over the sites that you built if you want to learn how to do it yourself if you don't want to be dependent on someone else to manage your business for you right and you don't have to be a coder to do this you can purchase this and with basic training you can understand how to get it done 
And if you need my help, you just go to MatthewTaming.com. You click under training and you can book a session. And we're going to go through everything that you need to know how to use this to build your website. How do you integrate? How do you change the colors? How do you uh, make sure that the, everything is loading fast? How do you make it work for you? It offers you a ton of different features, but if you don't understand how to use those features to your advantage or to your specific industry, because let's face it, every industry, you have to attack and approach things differently. So with your industry, we're going to take a look and a breakdown of how can this help you to maximize your particular industry with the zoo kit. That's another kit too that you can integrate it with it. I didn't get to cover this one yet, but this one has another uh, amazing, amazing tools that you can be able to use as well um, for your site. And it's just showing you some of the things you can put there. And I've used all of this. These are things that I use on a regular basis to work on projects. So if you are serious about taking your business to the next level, I would say that you need to understand the tools that are available to you. Once you understand the tools that are available to you, then you can make a better decision as to what's going to work for you and what is not going to work for you. Sometimes you can look at a layout, you can look at a design and say, you know what, this looks too much for me. I don't want to learn. I don't have the time or you can give it to your team. If you don't want to do it yourself, you can have your team get the training that they need. I do that often. Companies reach out to me. Listen, I want you to tra train my designers. I want you to train this one, so and so, and I can work with them to make sure that they know how to use this. But again, this is a great tool for anyone that's looking to build a website. It's the Your Theme or the You Theme uh, page builder. It's another excellent, excellent option for you.